Aliens, good morning. It's raining, hence the water dripping from the roof and the wetness out there. <laughs> morning. Inevitable is happening. They know. They know. Yeah, they know. They know we know too, and we know they know we know. Have to yeah, you have to go. Anyway, he's doing his chores. I have dishes to do when I get back. Don't look at my dirty sink. Oh. Wait, can I have a camera for a second? Yeah, as long as you don't put it in your pocket again. <laughs> hey, I said no, dude. Dude, you're calling me out, man. <laughs> All right, finish the dog water. I'm gonna feed Buffy and then we're gonna get out of here. Make like a tree and get out of here. You guys see that sky up there? It's been years and years and years since I've seen it, but do you guys remember uh, the Terminator, the first one? Where, uh, and, and I might be not correct. I may not have remembered this correctly, but isn't there a scene where Sarah Connor is gassing up the car and she's headed into the storm. It could be the last scene, I don't know. But anyway, so here's where we are. I do have a couple of appointments today. Um, I've got my sanitizer and everything with me. Um, completely distancing from everything. And uh, continuing to uh, make sure people have their cars running. So I had looked at the uh, the weather report is not supposed to have rained right now it did and this goes back to what I've told you guys before typically when I say I'm gonna get wet I kind of don't get as wet as I'm anticipating and today when I don't think I'm gonna get wet I get soaked <laughs> stay home limit travel save lives that's something you don't see too often on a reader board like Never. For the time being, I'm back home. Uh, governor Inslee, that's the uh, governor of uh, Washington State. Let me turn this down. Hold on. Uh, now Washington State, finally, has a uh, stay-at-home order for the next 14 days, except for essential services. So... I'm essential! <laughs> Automotive repair is essential service. It's actually part of infra infrastructure, so that's actually kind of cool. So, I'm not gonna, obviously, I'm not making any like wild trips out there. Uh, trips to the store are still legal, um, but we do need to curb this thing. So, even if you guys don't have these orders, just stay home for right now. If you're able to, stay home. And I really, really want to talk to you guys. I have thoughts in my head that I want to share with you. So many times, you will get a celebrity that feels that they need to speak their mind and take their paradigms and push them upon their audience. And number one, I'm not a celebrity. Uh, I've got, what, maybe two to three hundred of you guys that watch every day, so that means so much to me, but I'm no, definitely not at that status at all. But... I still feel like I want to tell you my thoughts so that hopefully it can help you guys prepare and uh, plan for the future. So I just don't know if I should do that in this video, like a daily vlog, cut it as a separate video because in my opinion, what, what I say, I'm not going to get graphic or anything, but if there are young children watching with you or whatever, I will probably, like maybe 13 and younger, um, I would probably ask them or ask you to have them leave the room or listen with headphones or something because uh, what I have to say is like it's, it's, it's not good. None of it is good. And it's very worrisome. It is very stressful. It is very, I mean, this thing that's going around is impacting all of us. And nobody alive today has dealt with anything like this. Here I am, I'm just talking about it. So I'm gonna stop now. I'm, I'm not gonna get too far into this because even Buffy's getting concerned, aren't you? No? Maybe? Yes? Every time I say something, are your ears gonna move? Your ears are almost moving the same way that I'm talking. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Give me five. Good girl, good girl. All right, okay, 
Duty calls. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. And apparently that minute turns into several hours. <laughs> so, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, happy haunting. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, okay. I'll do COC quickly. Uh, you guys were, uh, oh, you were way easy on me tonight. Okay, I'll hit everybody's comment. Uh, first comment of the night, Jeff's Yard Haunt. You say, first Halloween fur. Hope everyone has a great week and stay safe. Absolutely. Please stay safe, everybody. Frisbee Fever Roberto. Rover Eto. Great playing frisbee with your dog. You might like freestyle in order to have more variety of throws. Awesome. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Cool because you're you're like not one of our regular viewers. Sorry, couldn't get my words out. Uh, Emerald Gypsy Heart, aka EGH Video Productions. Hello, Hellions. Wow, tongue tied. You've had your own medical crisis here, and it's it's fairly lengthy. Um, I hope that Chris is okay. Uh, that's her uh, husband. Uh, everybody. So, uh, absolute well wishes to you and yours. Oh my goodness. Uh, Railfan Jason. Uh, Tuesday starts the Kansas City metro area lockdown. Uh, and I put that in quotes because I just listened to one of the area police chiefs on the news radio channel here. He hates the term lockdown because it's being used by the media. It implies things that just aren't true. And I understand uh, what, what they're saying. I believe here they're calling it at... It, wait, they... Bleh, they're calling it an at-home order right isn't that oh i think i've saved it stay at home order that's what they call it here that's the official term uh but i did use lockdown on the vlog because it was a little bit more uh eye-catching i try not to be click baitish but sometimes they're it, it, sometimes they do i guess i don't know this is the third time that i have attempted to read this comment and I just thought to myself, if I was ever an actor, there would be lots of bloopers. Because every time I've read this, like I said, a couple times now, and every time I read it, I will swear at the end of it because it's not going the way that I thought or I got tongue-tied or something like that. So, let's try it again without swearing. Robert Fogelin. Dogs and Frisbees always go together, and Phoenix is doing really well with his photography. Happy haunting. Well, thank you. Happy haunting to you. And... Uh, Phoenix is doing, you're right, he's doing wonderful. Okay, I made it through at that time. Whew, okay. And no, I'm not going to add anything that I edited out because it was vulgar. <laughs> Brandon Miller, I am going to read this whole comment. Uh, I have a cool story that happened to me the other day at work. One of my co-workers who I didn't know before, I started my job a couple months ago. We started talking about if each other liked haunted attractions, and she said her favorite one that she had ever been to was called the Bloodshed Manor. I asked her where it was at, she explained, and you were talking about the part that scared her the most, and I just started laughing at her, and she looked at me like, WTF. So I explained to her that her favorite haunt was my haunt, and the part she explained, the part that scared her the most in that haunt. Uh, was your area, his area. I looked at her and said, people like you are the reason I do this haunt stuff. That memory was from eight years ago, and she still remembers so much detail about it. I was amazed it left that much of an imprint in her memory. I know, isn't that cool? And if, for some of you that don't know, this is originally a Halloween channel, and we love Halloween, and we do Halloween when we can. It's just we're doing other more important... Oh, gosh, wow. We're doing other things that are also important, life-changing events. Um, but yeah, I've had a couple of kids come by from the neighborhood that have grown up with the haunt here. And they were like really little when they went through for their first time. And every every time they come by, they're like, are you doing the haunt this year? And I'm like, no, I'm not. And they're like, oh, because I really like the part where... And they would go on and on. And I know exactly what you're talking about. It's a great feeling to have a positive impact on somebody to where they remember that for hopefully the rest of their lives, unless they get Alzheimer's. Ah, sorry, a little bit of reality addition in there. Uh, Nicole Flynn, hi everybody. Oh, hi, I hope everybody has a really good week. Why am I having such a difficult time reading comments tonight? Tony Fredrickson, thankfully my job won't close. Agriculture, however, it's crazy trying to change everything for protection and production. I feel bad for complaining while so many people are out of work. 
Yeah, and that's something that I'm going to uh, touch on with uh, um, this whole thing that I want to talk to you guys about. Joseph Blau, hello, Hellions, and Tony Fredrickson. I'm going to save that for last. No, I'm not. I want to do it now. I'm adding this separate. Yes, I have family positive. Our daughter and preteen granddaughter that live in London have been fighting this for 17 days. This is no joke. Despite five ambulance calls, it was safer at home. Imagine 104 temp for two weeks. Not bad enough to see a doctor. The pain is horrible. They are now mending with time. It really is that bad for a mild case. Please don't underestimate this. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm glad that it looks like they're pulling out of it. And um, like I said before, this is something that none of us, none of us have ever gone through before. And hopefully we'll never have to go through again. Kieran Olsen, final comment of the night. Uh, looks Buffy the Destroyer of Frisbees. Looks Buffy... Look at Buffy the Destroyer of Frisbees? Is that what you meant? Uh, Michigan is now under a shelter in place. Is that what they call it where you're, where you're at? A shelter in place? Wow, so many different names for telling you to keep your butt at home. <laughs> I added a video to the COVID-19 playlist from Dr. Mike. Excellent. Thank you. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you guys. Happy haunting. Uh, don't forget to click up, click up the, no, oh, never mind. Subscribe, comment down below, click the thumbs up. You know what to do. Me, on the other hand, I need to go to bed. It's been a long day and I didn't get much sleep. That's why. That's what's going on. I'm tired. Good night.